Hi, I'm Meredith, and this is Apollo. We're going to ride to 48 states to raise awareness about domestic violence. The domestic violence is not fun to talk about, but it's such an important issue. Um, I plan on talking to uh, everyone I can meet along the way, survivors and victims at shelters and other domestic violence organizations, uh, to share with them my story, and I also plan on talking to everyone I can uh, just people I meet along the way about what I'm doing, what I'm writing for, why it's important. She's already got a route mapped through the different states, the closest distance between, between capitals. This will be the first ride to all 48 states to be made by a woman, and the third time that this sort of ride has ever been attempted. We'll be riding along bike paths and streets and some trails, but as much as possible we'll be staying near populated areas so that I can talk to people about our cause along the way. The long ride is its own thing. It's different from endurance riding and it's different from trail riding. Much further than a trail rider would normally go and much further than an endurance rider would typically go. For the most part we'll just be walking. Uh, sometimes I'll be walking also and sometimes I'll be riding. Apollo and he'll be walking. The max weight of gear and saddle combined without my weight is 100 pounds. Uh, that's calculated based on his body size and ideally we would carry closer to 70 pounds. Uh, that is for areas where we'll be able to stop for food and water frequently and don't have to carry that on the saddle. I want to go. This is going to be quite an adventure. Apollo, it seems to be a left brain extrovert on the cusp of a left brain introvert, um, which means he's a confident horse that is going to be very perceptive and is going to notice his surroundings and be very curious. And that I think will really suit him and Mary well so that they can move forward down the trail and have a really good time together. He is really likes to be entertained and he likes to play and he's very curious. So I think going down the trail and having things to look at and having people to see and birds to look at and trees and different terrain and surroundings is really going to suit his mind. I've been talking extensively with the Long Riders Guild and uh, specifically several members of the guild have been extremely helpful in uh, getting me ready for this trip uh, with advice and tips from their own experiences, uh, providing resources for equipment and uh, horse care that's unique for a long ride, uh, situations I might encounter along the way that I should be prepared for and trained for. Are you ready for your long ride? <laughs>